Hello friends welcome to stories with Arna Today we are going to read Osborn Young reading Stories of Robots by Russell Punter illustrated by Andrew Hamilton read by Vishnupriya and Arna Great so this book has 3 stories and we'll read the first story in this video Chapter 1 The Terrible Tidy Bot Luke you are the laziest boy in the world cried Mrs Lively his room was so untidy she could hardly get in look it's such a mess everything is outside lying here and there there's a socks coming out from the top of the cupboard and all his stuff is lying on the floor and his mother is trying to enter and she's not able to do that Look at all this mess," sighed Luke's mother as she clambered over a pile of books, clothes, and toys. "Hmm. Uh huh. Yeah." Luke is so busy playing something on his computer. All you do all day is play on that beeping computer," said Mrs. Lively crossly. Crossly means angrily. Luke wasn't listening. He had just reached level 12 on Android attack. Now he needed to concentrate. "I have had just about enough, young man," she said. "You have one week to clean up this room or the computer goes," threatened Mrs. Lively. "I mean it," she said. She is really upset and angry. Luke heard that loud and clear. He couldn't possibly live without his computer. But cleaning his room would take forever. So he's thinking, what I need is someone to clean up for me. He spent the next 2 hours searching the internet for cleaning companies. They were all too expensive. Luke had almost given up hope. When an advertisement popped up on the screen the advertisement read Cyber Stuff Products present the incredible tidy bot it sweeps it polishes it shifts your junk free 14 day home trial send no money how can you live without it please allow 2 to 6 days for delivery That's just what I need cried Luke it can clean my room then I'll send it back he thought just under a week later the tidy bot arrived at Luke's home he managed to sneak the box up to his room before his mother dashed passed on her way out i want that room clean by the time i come back she shouted The front door slammed behind her. Luke had just 2 hours. He ran to his room and excitedly tore open the box. Wow, he says, and look at the tidy bot. First he read the instruction booklet. Then he aimed the remote control. The tidy bot was ready for action. Luke pressed a red button twice. and the robot jerked to life allow me to put away your clothes sir said the robot in minutes all luke's pants shirts and socks were off the floor and neatly put away luke was impressed he pressed button after button the robot whizzed around the room obeying every command allow me to put your books on the shelf sir and he's taking away the books allow me to vacuum your carpet sir and he's cleaning up allow me to put away your toys sir and he's cleaning up all the toys in no time at all the bedroom was cleaner than it had ever been luke couldn't wait to see his mother's face when she returned he took a step back to admire the tidy bot's work As he did, 
he heard a loud crack. Whoops, he stepped on the remote control. The remote control was bent and broken. And Luke is thinking, how can I return this now? But Luke had more important things to worry about. Breaking the control unit had made the tidy bot go crazy. Allow me to put your books, sir. The robot has gone crazy and he's throwing the books instead of setting them up. Oh no! It hurtled around the room until it was messier than ever. Allow me to put your clothes, sir. And he started throwing off all the things outside the cupboard. Before Luke could stop it, the rampaging robot zoomed out of his bedroom and down the stairs. It went through every room in the house, leaving a messy trail behind. Allow me to vacuum your carpet, sir. And he vacuumed the cat. Oh, ho. Allow me to make your toast, sir. And he burnt the toasts out. Allow me to wash your car, sir. And he was cleaning the dog. Uh oh. Finally, the robot's battery went flat and it ground to a halt. Luke stared at the house in horror. What would his mother say? He spent the next hour sweeping and mopping and polishing. Then he repacked the robot and hid it in the shed. When he had finished, he was so tired that he went to his bedroom to lie down. He was in for a shock. Oh no, I forgot about this room. As he slumped onto his bed in despair, his mother returned. Despair means he was sad and horrified. He didn't like it. Look at this room, she cried. But Luke was so exhausted, he didn't hear. He was exhausted because he remember he cleaned up the whole house downstairs where the robot had made a mess. Yeah. Mrs. Lively shook her head as she carried off Luke's computer. You really are the laziest boy in the world, she said. And that's the end of our first story. Come back for the next video to read the second story together. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon. See you next time. Bye-bye friends.